on tour, or will you be headlining with anybody? I'm, I'm sorry, ask that one more time. That's I'm okay. I'm gonna stop doing that. Okay, do you want to take your time? <laughs> no, you're fine. Okay. No, you're totally fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> Plan on going on tour. Yes, are you planning on doing a tour yourself? Oh, a headline tour. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. Do yeah. it! Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can I get all you guys to buy a ticket to a show? <laughs> Done. I guess we'll have to figure that out. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's no, start. I really want to. I'm, I'm, I'm itching to go back on the road and do a headline show. I, I, I miss it. I'm, I'm loving, loving being on the Blown Away tour. Um, but I am excited to take what I've learned, to take what's what's come out of that tour, and, and put it into something you know, that we can that we can build. You know, and who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? I guess. Stay tuned. Yeah. Um, like they don't like wait for your every tweet and word. Come on, they're <laughs> waiting to hear. What's your favorite song to perform off your album? Katarina asked that one. Um, the one we're about to do. Uh, it's Somebody's Heartbreak. Oh. It's absolutely my favorite to play live. I, I just, I don't know, because we do this big jam section in the, in the end of it that we won't be able to do with two acoustic guitars. It just won't come across. Um, but, um, but, but it is one of those songs that's just like we have so much fun playing that song, seriously. All right, and uh, what artists would you like to collaborate with? There's a couple. I've been I've been checking out some new records, and I'm actually uh, there's there's a lot. Honestly, my list is growing by the minute. Um, I, I obviously I've been saying I really want to do something with Stevie Wonder. Wow, that would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> totally, totally. Um, and and but it but it but it goes from there too. You know, there's there's tons of other things. Like I, I really um, I don't know. I've been really getting into this this Jason Mraz record. Uh, yeah. I feel like we could have some fun too. I don't know. It just, it just, I'm, yeah, my mind's always spinning on collaborations because I love collaborations. I love, I love trying new things. I've been talking to Vince Gill about doing something with him someday. So um, I'm kind of working on that, kind of trying to, trying to make that happen. You know, hey, Vinny, buddy, because yeah. um, he's one of my heroes, and that would be really cool. So, huh? Luke Bryan? Except he's significantly taller than me. <laughs> So that gets really awkward on stage. Well, you yeah. go on tour with Taylor Swift, and she's significantly taller than you, too. She has a point. Uh, that is a good point, yes. <laughs> All right. What accomplishment has meant the most to you, and why? Um, accomplishment that's meant the most to me. I, I, winning a CMA was was a, was a major deal for me. I, I, that was that was my model. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, I would have never dreamed that that would happen. Uh, you know, this year has been great. But looking at like where we started and looking at where we are now, there's like two totally different worlds. And it's taken me the whole sort of month of, of, of January to figure that out. <laughs> and to, to actually realize what's happened because of it all. And um, yeah, my life has changed and it's all thanks to you guys and, and what's been happening. And, and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty sweet, it's pretty sweet. That was a big deal for me, um, to be able to hold that trophy and to, to, to say that the industry recognized me that way is a huge compliment. Because I look up to everyone in this industry so much. And Gabrielle wants to know how many days in the past year have you been able to like, be home? Um. <laughs> I hope it goes to two hands at least. <laughs> no, no, it's cool. I mean, look, look, it, it's shit. I have no problem with, like, not, trust me, I love being on the road. Um, hence why I've now customized two buses in my past uh, with, with studios in the back. And, and uh, I, I go to great lengths to, to make sure everybody's, I, I, you know, that, that, that we're comfortable on the road. Because that is our home. I love being on the road. I've always wanted to be on the road. I've always wanted to go on the road, do my thing, and and um, and, and, I, and I do miss home. You know, I, I you know I just got my first place. I'm still getting used to that. You know, and and like it's still kind of adjusting to that. So it's good for me to go out on the road and, and, and get away from the pressures of like cleaning a place and all that stuff. But um, but I, I love being on the road. You know, I've, I've, and I've been home. I guess a total. I mean, I, I was definitely home for all of January, which was really nice. You know, I but I I then found myself with nothing to do. I was like, what am I doing? Here? Like, I gotta, I gotta get back on the road, so here we are. <laughs> is, there, is there anything you bring from home just to make it feel like it's home on your... Um, uh, uh, this is gonna sound really geeky. Uh, oh, I'm gonna but I, no, I mean, it's quite predictable, honestly. This is not like I'm predictable. Um, I, I bring a lot of studio gear, because that's like, that's my home. That is my home. Like, in the back of the bus, I got a little mini studio set up. And I, 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 I love just going back there and just messing with stuff. Yeah. And what was the first song you learned to play on the guitar? Katie wants to know. First song I learned how to play on the guitar. Um, it was what was it? I think it was um, 
You're too young to have this bad of a memory. I know. No, you have no idea how bad my memory is. It's ridiculous. I can see you all over the place. No, your, yeah, your it was. Your brain's uh, always going. It was. I think it was Johnny Cash. It was uh, Ring of Fire because I played it in the show I did in Branson. Yeah. Because it was really simple, and I was like, I can do that. <laughs> and uh, and that was my first song. There you go. Yeah. All right. Now I don't know anything about this, so I'm just going to throw this question out there. And if it's not a good question, don't uh -oh. blame me. Have you spoken to Maury Povich since you've been on his show? <laughs> <laughs> No, not really. It's been I, I, I got to go on a show a couple of times. I got to actually meet him and you know kind of be buds with him as you know as, you know as a, as an eight year old. Um, but it was no, it was really cool. I got to I got to actually get to sit down and talk to him and get to know him. It was really really cool, really great great human being. I, I just I, I remember those 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 moments. You know, it's like when, when people like that let you in and 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 become sort of friends with you. You know, that's that's a really big deal. Um, I haven't though I've spoken to him. No. Since then, yeah. All right, and uh, someone in the audience, I can't read her name. I'm sorry. You can speak up and say who you are. She just uh, done, did the college thing, graduating this year. Woo! There she is. What, hey. kind of, what advice would you give an aspiring musician? I'm sure you get that question a lot, so I'm sure you have a good answer. Graduating this year, yeah. Congrats. Air, air, air fist bump. Yeah, sorry. Um, what, what advice would I give? Yeah, for an aspiring musician. Someone aspiring who's musician. Gotcha. Gotcha. But, well, the cool thing is there's so many options, there's so many things, you know what I mean? Like, it, um, I, I don't know, it, I, there's no right or wrong way to follow your dream. That's one thing that I've learned in the last, like, two years. Like, I definitely thought that was a process. And there is, but there's a different process for everybody. You've got to find your own process, you know, whether it's, whether you're going to be doing stuff in whatever, you know, you name it, you know. You've you got to find your comfort zone, your, like, where, you know, where, what you love to do. My dad used to say, and he still does, if you, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Yes. And I think if you live by that, you, you'll be happy because you'll always, you'll always be doing what you love and, you know, and, uh, and better for it. Yeah. All right, so how about you do what you love and play us another song? Happy. Awesome. 